What's up guys and welcome back to another episode of Super Cooper Sunday! Woo! What is up? Coda, what are you up to? Holy cow, you're actually coming to the camera today? That's kind of exciting. Coop, where'd you go? You gotta go potty? Oh, alright. I intro this video too early. Let's go potty. Just make sure you go potty. We aren't going swimming. Hey, hey, go potty. Go potty. Go potty. He always gets distracted. Here he comes, here he comes, here he comes, here he comes, here he comes. He's back. He's back. Good boy. We went potty. Anyway, guys, what's up? And welcome back to another episode of Super Cooper Sunday. We are back, and it feels so good, baby. We missed last week. I'm sorry about that, guys. I don't know if you saw my update video, but... I was kind of sick, like it wasn't like a, a fever, congestion, that kind of sickness, but it was like my throat was just completely on fire and I couldn't speak more than three words before my voice would completely give out and it was just, it was a, a bad thing for a couple of days and uh, over the past week or so, I haven't really been using it too much because I went on a trip so I wasn't recording a ton of videos all day every day. So I've started to build the strength back up. It's still not at 100% but it feels pretty good. You guys can hear, I'm talking just fine right now. So we're back. It feels good. Sorry we missed last week, but this week is going to be a very, very interesting episode. So I've been wanting to do this for a really long time, partially just because I want to know what happens. It's out of my own curiosity. And then I've also seen some comments from you guys and suggestions in our video suggestion link. So again, if you guys want to, it's linked down there. In every episode, you guys can leave suggestions for what you want us to do in Super Cooper Sunday. But um, what we're going to be doing is we are going to be figuring out exactly what the boys do when Chelsea and I leave the house. Now, unfortunately, it's just going to be the three of us boys in this episode, the lazy one and the one that's over there pouting for some reason. I'm not sure what he's doing. Chelsea's at work, and like I said, I've been traveling for the past few days, so we didn't get the chance to pre-record this episode, so I have to upload it, or like record it Sunday morning and then upload it for you guys. But um, yeah, we're going to be figuring out like, you know, obviously Chelsea and I will like go out to dinner on a date night, or we'll go run some errands or stuff like that. Like, what do these boys do in this house? when they have the house to themselves. Now, we don't really have too many rules in the house. I mean, obviously we have the basic ones, like we don't want them like going to the bathroom in the house. Uh, drinking out of the toilets, we try to keep them away from doing, and then the furniture is kind of the, the biggest one. So, I feel like sometimes when I'm away, Chelsea makes some exceptions to this, because I see like on Snapchat, she'll be like cuddling Cooper and stuff, which she's not supposed to do. But typically we try to keep Cooper and Koda off of the couch as well as the love sack. Now, Cooper loves the love sack and he always tries to sneak into it, so I'm 100% sure that he gets in the love sack sometimes when we leave. So we'll see if we can catch him in the act. And then also, sometimes, now usually we will kennel Coda up, so like, Coda, Coda, I'm leaving. Kennel up, kennel up, we're going. Usually we'll kennel Coda up in his kennel just because, I mean, he's always been kennel trained. He knows that's his safe place. He actually really likes it in there. But um, previously, before he was fixed, he had quite a few accidents in the house, and I don't think it was like, I don't think it was intentional. I, I, he knew that he, he wasn't supposed to, but I think sometimes he just had a hard time holding it, and since we got him fixed, it fixed it, which I didn't know that was a thing. But yeah, anyway, so we used to come him up all the time. Now it's just kind of habit, so usually we'll leave him there. Sometimes we forget to or just don't because we know we're not going to be gone for very long. So occasionally what we'll do, and I've showed you guys videos before how Coda knows how to open these doors. Occasionally we will leave when this door is shut, and we'll come home with the door open, and oftentimes we'll find his hair on this bed. So, I don't know, it, it hasn't happened in a while, but it definitely has happened before. So if we would be able to catch him in that act, that would actually be really, really funny. So I'm gonna go ahead and shut this, because usually that's shut. But yeah, usually this guy is kindled up. So we're gonna start it like that. Coda, kindle up, kindle up. Good boy, come on, kindle up. We're gonna start it like that. We're gonna do it a couple of times where I supposedly leave and come home and Cooper's by himself. And then we'll do it a couple of times with Coda in the kennel and see if that changes anything. So Cooper, I'm leaving all right, bud. Now the biggest question is, how are we gonna catch these guys in action? Of course I'm gonna have a few different cameras set up. So like I've got this one right here kind of covering this front area and some of the living room. I'm gonna have this one upstairs because I think oftentimes Cooper will go upstairs and sleep in our bed and stuff like that. And then I've got this one here, which I'm gonna get the other section of the living room, probably kind of angle it towards the, uh, the love sack. And then on top of that, check this out. I've got two GoPros and two GoPro fetch mounts. So I'm gonna mount these on the backs of the boys and we're gonna be able to get this cool first person view and really see what they get up to. So 
I don't know. It could be nothing. We could see them be a little bit naughty. We'll see what happens. It's gonna be fun. But um, I'm gonna go ahead and get these cameras set up and then Coop, let's see if you can pass the test, all right? Let's do this. Come here, buddy. Good boy. Right, sit, 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 sit. Good boy. Good boy. All right, we have got him all loaded up. All the cameras are running. We've got him here with the GoPro behind his head. You're a good boy. And what we're gonna do is I'm actually, I'm gonna drive away just to make it a little bit more believable. I don't wanna just walk outside because you always know that the truck leaves. All right, I'm gonna see you in a little bit. No, no, stay, stay. You gotta stay. Good boy. You gotta stay. Okay, so the first step is he'll always look out the window at us. You guys can see, he's looking out the window right there. So he sits here and he looks out the window until we get around the corner usually. Sometimes he'll watch us go all the way down the street. I can see him watching us go all the way down the street, but we're just, we're gonna go ahead and back out of here. He's watching, he's watching. I'm, I'm hoping that maybe if I just get over here, He's still watching, so we're gonna back out even further he from here. But the reason why I didn't want to get too far is because I actually have a live feed of the GoPro on my phone. All right, so we're leaving, we're leaving, we're leaving. He's not looking anymore, so I'm gonna I'm gonna park it right here. But you guys can see the connection is lost. So I'm gonna go walk up closer to the house and see if we can get connection from outside. All right guys, so technical difficulties. We drove too far away, lost connection on the GoPro. You guys can see it came back inside and I've got a live view now, which is uh, it's kind of interesting. I don't know if you guys can see it on there. We're like moving and he's moving too. But um, I don't even know what happened. I came back in and he was coming down from upstairs. So I'm assuming he was up in the bedroom. I'm not sure. I'll give you guys some footage. But um, now we're gonna head back outside. We're gonna do it a little bit differently. I'm just gonna kind of like walk around the side of the house and stay close to the house so don't lose connection. So good boy, do what you do. I'm gonna see you later, all right, buddy? Goodbye. This time we're just gonna act like we're going for a run or something. We're just gonna go around the corner here. All right. And now we're gonna be able to keep track of what he's up to. So right now he's still just staring at the front door. He hasn't moved, we're in the garage. I don't think he can hear us right here. He's still just staring at the front door. <laughs> we're not coming back, Coop. The only thing I'm worried about is if he might notice that we aren't actually gone because he didn't hear the truck start up. Usually that's like the cue of us leaving. So we're just gonna sit here and wait him out. Oh, oh he's going, he's moving. Where's he going? Oh. Oh. <laughs> he laid down. He laid down at the front door and he's just watching it. This makes me so sad. He's such a good boy, he's just sitting there waiting for me to come back. This is gonna make me wanna never leave the house again. Oh. He just kinda like switched around a little bit. He's kinda sitting up now. He's so cute. <laughs> this makes me really sad. So like, there's this quote about how dogs are just a part of your life, but to them, you're their entire life. And this totally, this totally is just like, seeing this in person is so weird. Because I'm leaving and who knows what I could be doing. I could be going out and going on vacation and going and doing fun stuff, going to dinner, doing whatever. I could be riding roller coasters at Disney World. He doesn't even know what that is. He's just sitting there waiting for me to come home because I'm what matters to him. This is, this is so cute. Whew. Sitting out here in the garage in the Florida summertime is no joke. He hasn't moved in a while. He's just kind of sitting there. I'm getting so hot. In this room, right here. Oh, look at this. Yes! Hopefully he didn't hear that. Oh, I think he heard it. Oh, he's staring at the front door. Nope, it's not the front door, buddy. I'm in the garage. So this is like the tech closet for the house. This is like all this wiring goes to like all the speakers and the ceilings and the walls and stuff like that. Control, oh, he's going upstairs. Anyway, this is like the brains of the house, and we have it AC'd in here. It's air conditioned, so it feels way better. All right, so he's going upstairs. He's going upstairs. He just took a look out to the right to look in the, the driveway. He's going. <laughs> he's going. 
He's going, oh no, oh no, I'm losing signal, you guys can see. No, he's over on the other side of the house, but I lost the, the signal. Oh my gosh. Do you think we can sneak back inside without him knowing? I think we're gonna try it. We're gonna try to get close to the GoPro. All right, so we're here at the front door, and he's laying on the bed. <laughs> Oh my gosh, I'm gonna give you guys a full screen view, but he's just, he's laying on the bed, just hanging out. I knew, that's like his number one spot for sure. So instead of sneaking in, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna knock on the door and we're gonna see what his reaction's like, all right? You guys ready for this? Coda's barking. He's up at the top of the stairs looking out into the driveway. I don't know if he saw us. <laughs> He's so smart. That's like his favorite spot in the world because he just sits on top of the stairs. You can see the entire street in front of the house. He loves to just watch it. I lost the connection again. Every time he goes up to the bedroom, we lose the connection. So it's all right. We're just, we're gonna come home. Cooper, I'm home, buddy. I missed you. <laughs> What's up, little buddy? You like the uh, you like the bedroom, huh? That's what you're on today. You're a good boy. You passed the test. You didn't do anything wrong. You didn't go in the love sack. Although I know that's one of your favorites. I know you do that sometimes. All right, cool. So. That was round number one. That was a lot of fun. We worked the kinks out there, so we know we have to be in the garage. I'm probably gonna set up like an iPad or something in there so it's just like auto-connected and it's not like leaving the house and coming back in and stuff. So I'm gonna get that set up. We're gonna get all the cameras, make sure they're all charged up, still recording, that kind of thing. We're gonna go for round two where Coda is gonna be free as well and he is also gonna have a GoPro on him. So we'll see what happens there. See you guys in a sec. All right, buddy. Now, I know that you don't particularly usually enjoy being in costumes or anything like that, but hopefully the GoPro is not too bad. You were just sniffing it. That's all we're going to be putting on you, all right? You got this, dude. I'm going to set you guys down here. We're going to see if we can get this thing on this guy. Come here, Koda. Come here. Good boy. And we're all done. We did it. Good boy. Oh, oh, oh. He just instantly tried to roll over on his belly for a belly rub and knocked the GoPro pretty hard, but usually these things are pretty sturdy. Okay, are you ready? Are you good to go? You guys are so cute. Is this getting, you have such a big head, I don't even know if I can really see very far over your head. All right, boys. Well, I'm leaving, so I'll see you guys later. Cooper, yours is, yours is turned, hold on. Okay, I just tightened up everybody's. Coop's good, Coda's good. Pound it, good boy, good boy. All right, I wanna see you guys later. Be good, don't be bad. I'm trusting you. Goodbye. All right. So give it a couple of seconds and Coop's gonna be checking the front door. We'll wait for that. Oh, maybe he's not checking the front door this time. All right, well, we're just gonna walk away. Oh, there it is. I knew it. I knew it was coming. Bye, Coop. We're just gonna walk away. Walk away. All right, we're inside. Set these up here. Coop's at the front door. Coda went over to his bed. He's sitting by the guest. I swear, if we could catch him opening up the guest room and laying in the bed, that would be so funny. Coop's going to my office. What's he doing in my office? Coda's laying down on his bed. Why is he just sitting in my office? Coda's trying to buck the GoPro off. Hold on. We lost Coda's GoPro. We're gonna have to go back in. How did you even manage to do this? <laughs> okay, so we're gonna set this up. Maybe his wasn't as tight as I thought it was. I thought I, oh wow, no, it still had, it still had a little bit in there. I thought I had tightened it enough. All right, boom, so there we go. All right, so we're in the tech closet. We've got the door shut, so they shouldn't be able to hear us in here. You guys can see, this is our little setup. Coda is just hanging out by the front door, and Coop's actually like right next to him. Coop's just to the right of him. Oh. 
Cooper's going back in the office. Now, I'm not gonna lie. One time, I did find that somebody had gone number two in my office, and I always just kind of assumed it was Coda. But that's questionable if he's constantly going back in my office like that. I haven't seen that before. Oh no, I think Cooper's back at the front door just sitting there waiting. They're both just sitting there waiting for me, man. Coop laid down on the bed. <laughs> How funny would it be if Coda like walked upstairs and went and laid on the beds upstairs or something? Something that we just totally didn't know that he did. What happens if I bang on the wall? So this wall behind me goes into my office, which we saw Cooper in there earlier. I just banged on the wall. Cooper went to the front door. <laughs> Go to barely repositioned. He's still just laying there. <laughs> These guys are too funny. Oh, oh, oh. And Cooper's going back to lay down on the bed. Okay, so I'm gonna go back inside one more time just to kind of reset them a little bit. They've both been laying in the bed and at the front door for a long time now, so I'm just gonna go back in, get them riled up a little bit, act like we're home. Yay, we're home, woo! Let's fix your little GoPro. Cooper just loves wearing this thing. I don't know what it is. He's like freaking out about it. But yeah, I'm just gonna come in here. I'm gonna like act like, oh no, I forgot my box of elbow macaroni. So I, I can't forget this, good boys. Are you gonna be good boys? Yeah. Uh, usually if we forget something, we'll give them a little treat. So we'll grab some, uh, some little treats here. Good boy, Coop. Coda, good boy. You missed that one. All right, now we're gonna head back outside and back in the spy zone. This is so funny, man. I should have actually got a snack. I don't know how much battery is gonna be left in these GoPros though. Usually you can't go for very long. All right, so Coop's Coop's walking around now. He's going back in the office again. Now I will say that Coop loves being in that office just cause, I mean that's where I spend most of my time so, especially when Chelsea's not home and I'm recording, he'll go in there and just kinda lay behind me or under my feet. Um, but um, I never knew that he went in there when I wasn't home. So that's interesting. So Koda's back to just laying. You guys will notice that he's always laying in the direction where he can watch something. Like right now he's watching the back doors. Earlier he was watching the front door. So he's always laying where he can watch. Cooper's got the front door unlocked right now. So they're, they're kind of a tag team. They're working together. They've got the entire area surrounded. This doesn't surprise me about Koda at all. This, I mean, what you guys are seeing on screen right now is what he does with his days pretty much 95% of the day. I would say there's like 30 minutes of activity. Half of that's going to the bathroom. The other half is like wanting to wrestle and play around and play rough. But most of the time, he's just laying. So that doesn't surprise me. Coop's going in Coda's kennel. <laughs> what? The only time Cooper is ever put in that kennel is after he goes swimming. We'll dry off most of him. Obviously, he's still a little bit damp, and then sometimes we'll put him in a kennel just to fully dry off so he doesn't like rub up against the furniture and stuff like that. But he's he's never put in the kennel. He was never, when he was a baby, he was kennel trained, but not after that because we never had any issues. So that is really weird. You know what would be really funny? is if we snuck around the back of the house and knocked on the back windows. Coda's looking at the back windows. But, so like, this is the middle of the house. So there's a bunch of windows over here and he's not gonna be able to see us if we were to knock on the window. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna go do that. That's gonna be funny. Cooper's gonna freak out too because he's gonna kind of see it. All right, let's go sneak outside and knock on the windows. We should be out of view if we go to this first one. So I'm gonna, Let's get back and see what they're doing. They're both still in the same position. <laughs> Coda. Coda just moved and faced the stairs. <laughs> I was expecting a little bit more of a reaction. I'm gonna see maybe if we, if we walk out there. 
I just feel like since we've been doing this for so long, I've been in and out and stuff, they probably kind of know that I'm messing around with them. They know that I've been out here. So maybe that's why we didn't get a reaction. Because these guys are pretty smart, but I just don't think he's going to expect me in the backyard. So, we'll, uh, we'll see what happens here. They kind of sneak around the corner. I don't know if you guys can see much. There's a bad reflection. <gasps> Koda sees me. <laughs> he knows it's me. <laughs> Hi, Koda. I think these are locked right now. Oh, nope. We can come inside. Good boys. Neither one of you were bad when we left. Good boys. They're so happy to see me. All right, guys. So the GoPros are about to die. There you guys have it. That's what happens when we're not home. Coda just lays around, does his thing. Like I said, usually he's in his kennel, so usually he can't do much. But um, Cooper likes to roam around the house. He goes up and lays in the bed upstairs. He likes to go into my office, which is a little bit weird. I don't know what he likes to do in there. The biggest surprise for me was that he did not freak out about that knock on the window. Are you just, are, like, are, you, are you feeling all right? Are you just feeling really lazy today, buddy, or what? Usually, he freaks out when a leaf falls across the street. Like, he just, he can hear everything, and he's always on high alert, so I'm surprised he was like that. I guess he's just feeling really, really lazy today, and, um, I always knew you were a wild child. We didn't catch you doing anything wrong, like getting on the couch in the love sack, but I know that you do it sometimes. So eventually we're gonna have to catch you. Uh, if you guys want, like, if, let me know what you guys thought about this. I thought it was kind of cool to have that first person perspective. If you guys want, we can do more stuff like this. Like maybe we'll do another version of this, like round two when Chelsea's home and we can set up more cameras and uh, we'll see if we can get some other different reactions. But then we could also do other stuff like dogs, when they go in the backyard and like seeing what they do when we're not paying attention or like just letting Cooper kind of have his free roam in the backyard and see if he swims when nobody's looking or like maybe at nighttime like put him on the, the dogs and Chelsea and I can like creep around the house and like make weird noises and stuff and see what they do. I don't know, I, just, I feel like that might be kind of fun. So let me know what you guys think and thank you guys so much for watching. I'm gonna see you guys in the next episode of Super Cooper Sunday. See you guys next week. Thank you guys so much. Peace out.